Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. Over the last several episodes, we talked about the first commandment, and now it's time for the second. Thou, Thou shalt, shalt not, not take, take the name of the Lord thy God, God in vain, vain. for the, the Lord will not hold him guiltless, guiltless that shall, shall take, take the name, name of the Lord his God in vain. vain. Exodus 27. Now, this commandment is a little simpler than the first one, but still not as simple as people think it is. To hear many modern Christians talk, you might think this commandment consisted only of never saying the words, Oh my God, and such like. Firstly, you can say those words under certain conditions. For example, in praying, one of the finest prayers ever written, the act of contrition, begins with those very words, and I'm sure it's not the only one. However, more importantly, showing this kind of casual disrespect to God's name, while still a serious problem, is not the only purpose or even the primary purpose of this commandment. In the modern world, we don't even think like this very much, but there are two other major ways to misuse the name of God, blasphemy and false oaths. Blasphemy comes in a few flavors. If you use God's name to express hatred or disrespect towards him, that's blasphemy. If you use it to support, do, or cover up evil doing, that's blasphemy. If you use it to oppress people into servitude, torture people, kill them, or commit other kinds of crimes, that's blasphemy. I can think of at least a dozen famous people who repeatedly use God's name in this way in the modern media without giving it a second thought. False oaths are much rarer, but mainly because the whole idea of oaths has kind of fallen out of fashion. In ancient times, people were often very concerned about others recognizing that they were telling the truth, so to convince them, they'd often swear an oath by something that was very precious to them, like the city they lived in, the king who ruled them, or, highest of all, the god whom they worshipped. In a false oath, people used this method of swearing an oath on God himself, but did it to convince people of a lie or else to make a promise that they had no serious intention or hope of keeping. This shows an extreme lack of respect for God. In fact, in Matthew 5, 33-37, Jesus said that people shouldn't even bother swearing oaths, that they need to mean what they say, and that oaths didn't really help matters any, and can even be a serious sin of disrespect for God no matter what you swear by. These, I think, are the main sins against the second commandment, blasphemy and false oaths. In short, treat God in his name with respect, and do the same to all other holy things. After all, don't you want God to respect you? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.